Hey there, everyone. Today, we are going to take a complex drum programming lesson on the Polyan tracker over here. So first, let's uh, listen to some of the samples. We are going to use one of my Gabba kick, a few breakbeats, some 909 samples, We are going to try to focus on using a few simple elements and uh, trash them into something complicated. First, let's choose a tempo. That's about right. Let's start with a kick drum. Going to start by 32. Break beat to this. The way I uh, sliced this one. Uh, there's no snares in it. I mean, not at the start of any of the slices. All the snares are in between. This is why we only have a few kicks and uh, cymbals, sizzling hi hat, uh, stuff like that. So, in there, I'm going to add a snare on a few of those. It's here. I just kept the snare from another of my uh, breakbeats. Because sometimes it's nice to have it separate. Let's go for some snare action. I showed you already. Uh, that uh, you can uh, trash the snare drum by using uh, some of the roll FX. Which is fun. But one thing I like to do is also to use the granular or even the loop uh, play mode over here to uh, make those uh, weird kind of uh, time stretchy sounds. So i show you how it's done. I will copy this uh, sound over here. So here I have the same snare drum. They're going to change it to granular. I'm going to change the length. That's what I'm after. And uh, the fun thing with this is that it can, it can sound a little bit like a time stretch effect, as well as a little bit of a delay. It really depends on how you use it. But I'm going to start to add some of these in there. You can change the way it sounds by changing its position, as well as its length. 
so far we can't automate the length, but we can automate the position, which is already really fun. So I'll show you. Here we have position. Now we can also change the envelope of this sound so it doesn't necessarily decay on a long time like it does right now. Let's also add a little bit of uh, pan modulation just for fun. With an LFO, just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to uh, copy this pattern and paste it to the second one. And now we are going to change all those instruments. to be 909 snare. You can hear it's already quite complicated because one of the 909, this one, has already the same kind of setup over here. So let me just change it a little bit while it's playing. Using the square basic uh, default setup will get you a more glitchy sound. Triangle is a little bit less aggressive and ghost, Gaussian even less. It depends on the situation and the sound, but for drums, uh, square is enough. Now for a change, I'm going to copy this as well. I'm going to delete all those and put a feel some of the hi-hats over here. Let's go Euclidean, almost everywhere, 24 events on 32 steps, which should be almost everywhere. <laughs> The Euclidean feel is a really nice touch they added. It's not as random as real random. It's quite fun. So let's add a few uh, open one, which is instrument number 10. And some rolls.
I guess that's it for today. This is a nice and fun way to mangle drums using the granular mode. Yeah, have fun with that.